Headed back down to Kentucky. Brad and I were down two weeks ago. Now my wife and I are going to go back down and uh, see if we can't score on one of those really big nice bucks that we have on Covert Trail Camera down there. So we'll see you down in Kentucky. Okay, here we are, our second trip down to Kentucky. Brad and I came down two weeks ago for the opener, and we've seen a lot of nice young bucks. I passed a nice nine point. Just wasn't what we were looking for for early season. There's three good shooter bucks still here on camera. I checked the cameras today, and on the food plot, we have a real nice buck come in the last three nights. He's a nine point, he's got a drop. I'm hoping it's an inch, a little kicker off his drop off his uh, left main beam and real nice buck I call him kickstand if he comes out tonight he's our targeted buck tonight unless a bigger buck comes into that food pot um, he's just a real good respectable buck for for right here in this area in, of Kentucky so um, we'll see what happens he's been in this food plot the last three nights seven o'clock so we gotta get in there we'll see you in the stand settled in a stand here in Kentucky. This is my second trip down to Kentucky here for archery season. We were down two weeks ago. 
Brad Wilcox and myself, we hunted three days, seen three nice up-and-comer bucks. I passed one of those. We seen a lot of young, young bucks too, and does. I checked the covert trail cameras this morning. On this camera and this food plot we have. The last three nights, our number one shooter buck has been in this, in this food plot. We got beets and greens we planted this year. And they found it, so. The last three nights, he's been in here, 7, 7.30 till dark. So, I know right where he comes out because of the covert trail cameras telling me that. So, they come right out just right in front of the camera. Then they work their way this way. So, it's about 4 o'clock right now. I just got the camera all set up. My PSE bow hung up and everything. So, we're, uh, we're looking to put a muzzy broadhead to use tonight. There's a lot of nice young bucks and a lot of nice up-and-comer bucks. We also have three good shooter bucks that we know of so far, so. It's early in the year, yeah, September still, so. If I don't score this time, we're gonna be back with CVAs. Now we're gonna settle the score. All right, I'm gonna get my head net on here.
kickstand buck. I'm pretty sure I said kickstand buck. Oh, yes. Yeah, he snuck in right here. Had another nine point right here earlier in the night. And uh, I think I got a great hit on him. Right center punch, perfect. Should be great. Whew. New PSE evolved. That's a 40 yard shot. I pretty much smoked him. Yes. He's done. I just gotta go get my hands on him. <sighs> what a great hunt here, man. We got a lot of nice bucks on camera here. That was our number one targeted buck. That muzzy. Oh, I hope it does the trick. All right, I uh, went back and got my wife. Um, I haven't even looked at the arrow yet here yet, so we're um, we're getting ready to go in right now. And uh, I went back and looked at the video footage on my computer screen, and it looked really, really good. Um, pretty much heart shot, so looks good. So we're gonna head in right now, and uh, hopefully we'll find this deer real quick. Yeah, here we got the arrow. here it's the next morning we uh, reviewed the footage last night it was an awesome shot I put on the steer and we looked for about uh, an hour last night and we just only found sparse blood here and there he ran downhill just on a death run pretty much uh, I knew he wasn't gonna go very far we gave it a pretty good effort last night decided to back out it was gonna be cool enough last night so we came back in this morning and we didn't have to pick the blood trail up or nothing. I did a little loop around. He only went about 80 yards probably and piled up and he's laying. We just found him. He's right here. So I got my big nice drop tine buck that I wanted. I called this buck kickstand and uh, let's go take a look at him. What an awesome, awesome deer. Awesome. Got a drop tine. We got him. Nice buck. All right, we got him. We uh, nicknamed this buck here Kickstand. He had a little drop tine on there when he was in velvet. I was kind of hoping it was still going to maintain its inch and 
it's all of an inch and a half so he's a legal point there looks like he might only be a legal nine point not quite a, a tine there but i'm happy with him uh probably the second best buck we have on the farm currently on cameras here so but uh just a great great buck had a nice hunt last night it uh it's a struggle sometimes when you you put a lot of effort in it was real warm yesterday i sweated really bad relied on our scent lock products to maintain our uh, our odor there and he was downwind at 40 yards and uh, i just put a fantastic shot on him this is the exit here the entry's on the other side right here and behind the front shoulder i knew the shot looked good we went in and um, looked at the footage last night at the motel and decided that we go back and uh, try to recover him last night we only found just a little few drops of blood as he was running downhill on a, a death run here and you know we got quite open area here it's hard to find blood it can fall through and you just can't find it on the leaves here so we backed out last night after about an hour we decided to come in first thing this morning and uh, we never even looked for blood we just walked right to him he didn't go 80 yards As a matter of fact the trails right there and we uh, we drove pretty much right by him last night so real happy with him and uh, I'm tagged out in Kentucky you may recognize the stand that I shot this buck out of he uh, we uh, got a go-to stand early in the season that we go to, Brad and I, and we hunted two weeks ago out of that stand. We never seen this buck, but we seen a number of other younger bucks. And um, last year I took my big 10 point, I called Mr. Perfect out of the same stand and he, he passed away right here, probably less than five or six feet in this, right here in the same area. You may, you may recognize this area. So we've, uh, we've got it done here in Kentucky and I couldn't be happier.